Yes, moving on with the muscle contraction. As we have seen the thin filament side, first of all, we have completed uh, the thin filament side. And now we are moving with uh, the thick filament side. The thin filament side, I'll remind you that uh, what happened, the thin filament is of three, actin, proponin, and propomycin. Actin, proponin, and propomycin are present there. And thick filament side, thin filament side, one, uh, what is the requirement? Exposure of active site, which is actually active sites are located on F actin. They are covered by tropomyosin and supported by TNT and TNI of troponin. Now, what happens that uh, the unlock is done by calcium ion. Calcium ion will come and bind with the TNC. Calcium ion will come and bind with the TNC. That pro calcium troponin complex lift the troponin tropomyosin complex. See the complexity. The calcium troponin complex lift the troponin tropomyosin complex. That make the exposure of active sites. So active sites are ready now. Now we need to go with the myosin, the thick filament side. Each myosin is with uh, uh, that like uh, three portions in the, each myosin, head, neck and tail. The two tails of uh, two myosin molecules are filed like this. On above the myosin will find two sites. One is the actin binding site which binds with the active sites of the actin and other is the ATP binding site. Other is ATP binding site. Okay. So actin binding site we are talking about, this is the actin binding site which binds with the actin at active site in this place we have to talk about, this particular place. Okay. Then the other is ATP binding site. That means the ATP molecule will be connected here. So ATP will break down in the form of ADP plus phosphate ion, this particular site we see. Okay. So what is the requirement this site? This particular area is having already ATP. The myosin head is having ATP binding site. Do ATP gives energy? No. This is very important. In the ATP form is a storage form. So what is required? Breakdown of ATP into ADP plus phosphate ions is required. For that, what is required? There is an enzyme called ATPase enzyme. That means for the activation of the myosin head, what is required? Myosin head activation required ATP is in here. Just see the difference. What is the requirement for the activation of this particular uh, uh, exposure of active site? Calcium ion. When calcium ion comes, the exposure of active sites are happening. Now, we said what is the requirement this side? ATP is in here. Who will bring ATP is in here? Calcium ions will bring. That's all. The calcium ions will bring. So that means the calcium is the hero for muscle contraction. For both thick filament side and thin filament side. Okay. So just combining these two will make the muscle contraction and we need to see how the calcium ions came. Okay. So just uh, let me show this particular in the diagram. Let me show that. Uh, uh, let me clear the ink here. Uh, then uh, this area we just talked about this area is actin in the form of F actin, like this. This is the F actin, okay. And uh, talking about the myosin, myosin is with the head. And uh, these kind of questions nowadays we are not getting. This is not the M set. That uh, in M set we'll have uh, some depth questions like this. The head is towards Z line, then tail is always towards the head zone. These kind of questions we used to get in those days, but not now. That basic concept based questions are only going to be asked in the name. If you remember, no matter. The myosin head is always towards the jet line, and uh, the particular tails are always towards the head zone. So, with the help of this particular head, the myosin head that is going to pull the thin filament. Let me show this particular in the zoom. So, this is the myosin head. The myosin head is going to pull the thin filament, attaches the thin filaments at active site and going to pull that particular thin filament towards the head zone. This is the story, okay? So for that, what I said, you need to remember 
the thin filament side how does the activation and exposure of active sites are happen and in the thick filament side we need to remember that how does that uh, particular thick filaments myosin heads are getting activated in the both cases we said about uh, the story of uh, the calcium ion so now the question raises here how does that particular calcium ions are getting liberated how does the calcium ions are getting liberated this is a sarcolemma so i'm not going to draw the total here the first of all uh, the pepimycium then after perimycium then after endomycium finally we reach to the sarcolemma okay from the central nervous system from the brain the nerve fibers get started cross the epimycium perimycium endomycium and now they are having synapse with sarcolemma so now they are going to make the synapse with sarcolemma so uh, where does the muscle contraction is going to happen in the muscle fiber this is the muscle fiber let me write here for our remembrance this is the muscle fiber so each muscle fiber is having many myofibrils isn't it that each muscle fiber is with many myofibrils so what do you see here that uh, let me draw all z lines here only z lines i am going to draw sarcomere 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 like this okay so z lines z lines z lines so these are all sarcomeres make it these are all sarcomeres okay then uh, okay we'll make it h zone also it's very difficult here to do like this so there are so many sarcomeres now our nerve fiber came and synapse with uh, this particular sarcolemma we call this particular area as motor end plate this is said to be as motor end plate the acetyl choline neurochemical substance is getting released who is the post synaptic membrane in this case sarcolemma so sarcolemma is getting depolarized now information came from the brain we are talking skeletal muscle that's why we say the information came from the brain and uh, the acetyl choline is getting liberated and sarcolemma is getting depolarized the depolarized sarcolemma invaginate inside that is very important invaginate inside so where it is invaginated is going to be matter here so in case of uh, uh, that uh, other mammal that is the invagination through the z line that i shown now that in case of uh, in case of human being will find that invaginations in between the ai bands like this ai band okay so uh, this is not much required actually we are having this particular information in the state textbook in detail whatever invagination you need to recognize first of all okay so transverse tubule we can say what is transverse tubule invaginated sarcolemma is called transverse tubule the either sides of this particular sarcolemma we can see the cisternae of sarcoplasmic reticulum let us use another color for this yeah that very new brand new cisternae of sarcoplasmic reticulum okay so uh, let me see this this is transverse tubule and these are the cisternae of sarcoplasmic reticulum this is called triad system what is triad system that invaginated sarcolemma in the form of transverse tubule either sides of that particular that uh, t tubule will find the cisternae of sar sarcoplasmic reticulum the cisternae of sarcoplasmic reticulum is called as the triad system now let's make the sequence here let's make the sequence that uh, the in the in, in, from the neuron the axon terminals with the motor end plate is the sarcolemma here both synaptic membrane which is getting depolarized from there it will go to the transverse tubule from the transverse tubule and either side will find the cisternae of sarcoplasmic reticulum these cisternae of sarcoplasmic reticulum will collect the information from t tubule depolarization information they release calcium ion so our hero released calcium ion who released the calcium ion cisternae of sarcoplasmic reticulum what the calcium ions will do that we have calcium ion will bring the atp as enzyme and breaks the atp and uh, activates myosin heads to pull the thin filament 
what about thin filament side calcium ion will bind with the tnc and form calcium troponin complex that lift the the troponin tropomyosin complex for the exposure of active site everything is ready now let us try to see that particular video before that uh, let me show you that uh, the muscle contraction procedure that uh, the procedure of muscle contraction that means uh, synapse procedure we are talking about an action potential arrives at the presynaptic terminal causing voltage gated calcium I want to show you that particular the video, right, right, it's coming. The muscle contraction video. An action potential arrives at the precept. Yes. Synaptic terminal causing voltage gated calcium ion channels to open, increasing the calcium ion permeability of the presynaptic terminal cell membrane. Calcium ions enter the presynaptic terminal and cause vesicles to release their neurotransmitter acetylcholine from the synaptic vesicles into the presynaptic cleft. Diffusion of acetylcholine across the synaptic cleft and binding of acetylcholine to acetylcholine receptors on the postsynaptic muscle fiber membrane causes an increase in the permeability of ligand-gated sodium ion channels. The movement of sodium ions into the muscle cell results in depolarization of the postsynaptic membrane. Once threshold has been reached, a postsynaptic action potential is generated and is propagated over the muscle cell membrane. Acetylcholine is rapidly broken down to acetic acid and choline in the synaptic cleft by the enzyme acetylcholine esterase. The choline is reabsorbed by the presynaptic terminal and combined with acetic acid to form more acetylcholine, which enters the synaptic vesicles. Yes, uh, then an action potential arrives at the presynaptic terminal, causing voltage gated calcium ion channels to open, increasing the calcium ion permeability of the presynaptic. Yeah, let me continue. Uh, then, what I'm saying here when you start running, just uh, we'll take a smart uh, way here, the two minutes uh, will take here to understand this much better. When you start running, so what do you use first? We use stored ATP first of all, okay? That uh, stored ATP is over. Then what we do? We have muscle phosphagen, creatine phosphate. Creatine phosphate provide phosphate to the ADP to make it ATP, okay? That is the second step. All the phosphate is over. What we do? Breathing started. That means more oxygen we, are, we use it to take to break the more glucose molecule. Okay, that is a step three. Then you are running, your skeletal muscles are much faster, they are moving, that oxygen depth will come. What is oxygen depth? Your supply is not equal to demand. More oxygen, they require more energy, but your oxygen uh, is not sufficient. What do you call oxygen depth? Now they depend upon that particular anaerobic respiration. Without oxygen, what we can do? We can do glycolysis. There is nothing but called anaerobic respiration. Okay. So that anaerobic respiration can be done that anaerobic respiration makes over the production of lactic acid, that pyruvic acid will be converted into lactic acid. Okay, this lactic acid makes the pain. That means when you start running, when you are continuously running, what, what's happening, the steps and events we are going for. We use ADP first. We use creatine phosphate to provide phosphate to the ADP. We use oxygen. Then 
we go for anaerobic when the lactic acid is formed that we can see can understand the pain gets started and we are undergoing we are ready to go for fatty okay so the the particular fourth step last step is going to be fatty anaerobic process when you take rest what happens that muscles lactic acid from the muscle will come back to the will come to the liver through blood circulation there it will be converted into glycogen and we send glycogen back again to the muscle that's why when after running you feel pain why lactic acid when you sit for a period of time you feel relief because lactic acid from the blood stream reaches to the liver will be converted back again to the glycogen so this is a story of muscle contraction and uh, with the skeletal system will continue tomorrow as uh, we are taken much time here because uh, the more applications we have in this particular area so we need to focus in this area okay thank you